Somebody died just for somebody else's enjoyment. Now these kids are set free. It was a crime that shocked the state and captured the attention of the nation back in 1984. Charlie Howard, then 21 years old, a member of Bangor's gay community. He was beaten by three teenagers and thrown off the State Street Bridge into the Kanduskeg Stream. Howard screamed that he couldn't swim. He then drowned. It was a death that galvanized the community and helped spur the gay rights movement in Maine. This evening, a few weeks before the actual 35th anniversary of Charlie Howard's death and at the beginning of Pride Week in Bangor, there will be a ceremony this evening to remember him. It'll be held near that same bridge and a small memorial park dedicated to Howard's memory. Pride Week organizers say they're holding the ceremony on the same day they celebrate Rainbow Crosswalk. It's the first year we've combined the two um, just because we think, um, you know, the Rainbow Crosswalk is a great way to kind of celebrate life as it is. Um, and the memorial is a kind of, um, it can be kind of a rough um, event for some people. So, you know, celebrating after um, is a great way to lighten the mood. There are Pride events all week in Bangor, including a parade through downtown on Saturday.